All right, so I'm watching this Chris Hemsworth YouTube video where he's trying to inspire himself as much as other people, and it kind of seems like that's why his Thor movie got delayed, because it seems to be stepping on the toes of other Marvel projects somewhat based on the preview. Well, it's because he's in Thor Love and Thunder, and I don't. there's been modifications to yeah. Marvel films not allowed, same as Sonic. Yes. Tape was ripped off of Sonic. I mean, Sonic ripped tape off of somebody's mouth. Through a grill that couldn't be reached through because they're just modifying the script as and they Knuckles want. And Knuckles had to change size to be modified to fit within whatever yeah. 3D scenario they wanted with a modification. So whether he's just, you know, his movie got messed with and he's just an egotistical prick or not, um, whether how stable he is, because this is a weird fucking video, but... What I'm here to talk about is he needs to pull it together then and the movie needs to be as grandiose as his stupid thing here, which is he's a warlord, so he has a whole planet of, you know, cultist freaks. They're all attacking him with their technology and whatnot, and they're all creepy or whatnot. Then he shocks the entire planet, starts a storm system across the whole planet and shocks them all. Then the planet's evil and then explodes as it, you know, takes all the cultists with them. Then he blasts out into space and the hammer cracks the screen of the, you know, audience's perspective in 3D as the movie ends with, yeah, the, with exploding lightning. Yeah, with lightning now, everywhere. What I was going to say was, because you didn't really cover it, yeah, that... Thor, I mean, it would make sense as an ending. Not every character needs to have some sort of peaceful ending in the Marvel yeah. universe. His character was literally so cliche that he only enjoys the violence. He's a barbarian. He's a warlord. He's Thor. And so it's like he's lost himself, like he's lost himself here, because it's like he's trying to imagine that being peaceful is badass. Yeah. When he was never that person, him or his character, in my perspective. Yeah. And so he just needs to, you know, focus that energy in a way that's, you know, motivational towards people rather than just motivational towards him, which is what this video is. Yeah. And he needs to get out of the main role in Love and Thunder because I don't know what's going on, whether it's editing or or somehow he's involved, but he shouldn't be the main role in a movie that I literally read is all about her and a pregnancy she has and her internal universe's struggle or something. Yeah. What does that have to do with him traveling the globe and finding himself again? That should be the movie you just described in the ending. But, you, uh, you know, everybody knows the whole cliche, well, he fucked her real good, so then he's involved with her pregnancy... So even if his movie is about him inside of her developing pregnancy universe or whatever, on micro size, defeating evil, it's the same end thing, whatever it is, whatever's going on with the plot that I don't know about. Yeah, so even if he wants to be even more egotistical and try to ruin something, still keep in mind that it could just be that the man saves the day. Even if he's determined to ruin something or people for yeah. his name. Because at the end of the day, he's just going to whirl his fucking hammer and everything's going to explode and that's just what's going to happen. Yeah. But giant twisting tornadoes all over the surface of a planet with lightning shocking terrible people, you know. Yeah. It's pretty entertaining to watch. Yeah. Unlike cracking ice with ice giants falling into caverns with that nothing was, happening. That was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Not I don't know how that happened. Who pieced that together? Wasn't it was decision. sad. No one wanted that except a few weirdos. Hey, listen. If it was my decision, it would have been different. But it wasn't my decision, and that was a long time ago. Yep. So I hope we can get some quality Thor and other extended Marvel movie stuff out this summer correctly with everybody doing their thing. Also, nobody gives a shit. He should be the one with fake muscle if he's uh, struggling to maintain proper uh, form. As long as he's not fat and he runs. Yeah. Uh, Natalie Portman is the one that, you know, needs to be at least something in the movie. A little bit. That's all. Well, it's like, I wouldn't care if he faked his entire montage on YouTube here and he has 
some other stunt models doing it all, whereas he is skinnier and stretchier and just doing some stunts on wires, and then he's getting muscles yeah. added. Why would anyone care? It made me very it's the end of the universe. Though, where it, it took so long for on YouTube Natalie Portman, which you know she doesn't even take her helmet off. Yeah. Uh, and there's kind of a CG lighting effect going on to appear in the theater release of any trailer, and it's just him finding himself that either these should be separate or there should be some sort of logic here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the plot synopsis that I read, whatever somebody else wrote Well, in it, it's been around for years. That's what I was saying. What's left over is about her and her pregnancy. Yeah. So... If, once again, it's supposed to be another love story like Wanda and Vision, and everything's supposed to be like that in Marvel for this, you know, next wave, then I don't know. I, I'm assuming that's what it is, and their two movies intersect with her pregnancy. So he's supposed to make pregnancy jokes, you know, about how he's feeling her pregnancy and stuff, and I don't think he's handling it too well. It is awkward. I mean... I it's don't just, know. There's like a trailer scene, and it seems to be already be modified. Yeah. Because it seems like it would be a better idea for them not to be looking into each other's eyes and Thor to be, like, weirdly attracted to him, but instead for Thor's love interest, Natalie Portman... To be standing behind him, like we said. And vice versa, his love interest to be standing on the other side of them. So then it's like they're staring at, it, at at them fondly, but they keep moving, and then they show a sign of displeasure suddenly as as they're fully, you know, in front of each other's faces as they were thinking fondly, as if, like, the thoughts haven't connected to the eyes. So they're both moving sort of like they're trying to look at them, and then they realize they're looking squarely in each other's faces. The and the, for, like, as they keep moving aside, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you know, th- I feel like that would be better then it's it's a little it's a little well, weird the way it is i feel like since we came up with that idea originally yeah. years ago that yeah they need to deliver on that scene because they it's like it's just too killer of a scene so there's just i don't know it just feels like there's